The phrase that scares, understanding, be the death of me. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're exploring a phrase that's as dramatic as it is common, be the death of me. It's a phrase you might have heard in movies, songs, or even in everyday conversation. But what does it really mean, and how can you use it correctly? Stick around as we break it down for you. At its core, be the death of me, is an idiomatic expression used to exaggerate the effect that someone or something is having on the speaker, often in a negative way. Despite its morbid wording, it's rarely used to imply actual death. Instead, it's a way to express that something is causing the speaker a great deal of stress, trouble, or frustration. For example, if someone says, this project is going to be the death of me, they mean the project is very stressful or difficult. Not that it will literally end their life. The phrase, be the death of me, has been in use for quite a long time. And like many idiomatic expressions, its exact origins are difficult to trace. However, its longevity in the English language speaks to its powerful way of conveying distress or exasperation. It's important to note that while the phrase can be used in serious contexts, it's often used humorously or hyperbolically to add a dramatic flair to complaints or venting. Let's see how this phrase can be used in various contexts. 1. Personal challenges. Trying to juggle work, study, and personal life is going to be the death of me. 2. Frustrating situations. My computer crashed again. It's going to be the death of me. 3. Endearing exasperation. Often used in a more light-hearted, affectionate context. Like when talking about a loved one's quirks, my son's endless energy is going to be the death of me, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Do use it to express exasperation or stress in a hyperbolic way. Do feel free to use it in informal situations or when trying to add a humorous touch to your complaint. Don't use it in very formal contexts or when the situation could be misunderstood as literally life-threatening. Don't forget that tone and context matter a lot with idiomatic expressions like this one. There you have it. A closer look at the phrase, be the death of me. We hope this exploration helps you understand and use this expression more confidently in your English conversations. It's a great example of the language's rich idiomatic tapestry and a fun way to express frustration or stress. Thanks for watching, and we hope this video has been enlightening. Until next time, keep learning and exploring the depths of the English language.